Hey there guys, how's it going? This is John Matthew and you're watching Cinemator 24-7, a channel dedicated to movies, music, physical media, books, video games and pop culture. Yes, I'm absolutely impressed at looking at the movie that we're going to basically narrate today. This film, for the first time ever, I just heard about it all my life, but ended up watching it for the first time a few days back and this video is elucidating my entire experiences with the movie. Welcome to the first time watching episode of the sword and the stone this is a movie based on the very popular fable of the british um, people that king arthur happens to pull out a sword from the anvil on the guidance of merlin the magician who eventually helps him become the king of england and all those great stories associated with arthur and merlin the entire legend basically is condensed to one film this movie is absolutely one of the finest movies of the animation era and i really wonder why movies like this are not made these days 2d animation has completely been killed off by disney i know that for sure the last movie that somehow managed to come out in the 3d animation era was princess and the frog but that's it after that i never see any movie of that era anymore you know, this film is also a testament in character. Personally, the first time I looked at this movie, I felt this movie is a huge testament in character. I mean, how to write a character, how to execute a character arc, how to actually make sure your character is growing. This movie is the perfect testament to anybody who's trying to write a character for themselves. Wart, or as he's called in the entire movie, he basically comes under the apprenticeship of Merlin the magician and Merlin the magician teaches him stuff stuff that is going to help him become King Arthur in some time that entire particular scene where he turns into squirrels he turns into fishes he turns into other different animals then they have a face off with the evil witch or something that entire part basically constitutes the entire character arc of what you know I'm extremely sleepy while making the video please excuse me for that this one Watt's entire character arc through the movie, his progression from being just a normal boy to being the king of England is absolutely impressive and believe me, this is the kind of character writing that Hollywood needs these days. The animation needless to say is flawless even after all these years and uh, this movie kind of you know compelled me to go back and watch all the older movies of the 70s, 80s and 60s as well. The movies that came before Toy Story and to explore another new Disney that I have never even known for my life. Personally, I did see a lot of Disney movies in the past of the 2D era, of course. That means I have seen films like Basil of Baker Street, that is The Great Mouse Detective. I have even seen films like Aladdin, The Lion King, of course, because they were cult classics in their own ways. My sister and I ended up watching Beauty and the Beast as well, the older one. I have seen Cinderella as well. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Pinocchio, Dumbo, that's fine, but that's a long time ago. I need to see those movies sometime and tell you what I feel about them as well. My entire personal opinion of this movie is it's a fabulous film. It's a fabulous film about character and anyone who's actually willing to, you know, kind of get some excuse or let's say some kind of an escape from woke Hollywood, you need to come back and watch this movie and understand how characters are actually written and executed. At the core of this movie, lies the entire journey of a normal boy being the king of England from a nobody and the idea that destiny has chosen its warrior and the warrior finally finds his destiny is the entire crux of the movie. I just phenomenally love this movie and I'm definitely going to buy a DVD of this. Tell me down in the comment section below what you feel about this movie and what your memories of the film have been. Well, this is the end of my reaction come review for The Sword and the Stone. I'll be doing a detailed movie review sometime in the future definitely but this is just my reaction of, of the first time watching. Till that time guys, take care, stay safe, bye bye, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, keep buying movies on physical media and also as I always keep saying and will again say, you guessed it right, Godspeed.